Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and today we're going to check out if a luggage scale is a good substitute for a bow scale. So I actually have two different bow scales here, plus an actual luggage scale. Uh, we're going to see how each one works, the results we get, and then just kind of compare them, you know, price-wise, ergonomics, how they work, you know, is, is the luggage scale a giant pain? Uh, also, is it even safe? Uh, and uh, you can then make your informed decision. Of course, you should probably always use, uh, you know, bow scales since they are designed for archery products. And by using something other than that, you are thereby taking your own risk and it's not my doing at all. You just watch the video. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the old school first. Uh, I have this Weston Gear uh, spring-loaded <laughs> uh, bow scale. Uh, this is a pretty old bow scale. It was also the first one I ever bought. So I am going to hook it onto my bow and draw it back. We got the numbers here. And we're going to go and pull this puppy back. Pull until it clicks. All right, and where are we at? Looking from the front here, so up front here, uh, we are at about 46, it says. So we're gonna see how that compares to uh, the other ones. This, I guess, is our, our, our baseline test. Uh, this, you know, from my experience, has been pretty accurate overall. We're gonna see how it matches up to uh, the digital scale of the luggage and of the official uh, bow scale from Last Chance Archery, the HS2, I believe it's called. So let's go and check out uh, the luggage scale next. So here I have the luggage scale. I got to turn it on. I actually have to make sure it's toggled into pounds. It does kilograms, ounces, and I think one or two other measurements, which which is kind of excessive for archery. Uh, I could see how that could, you know, I guess sort of be useful for luggage. Again, you would probably only want pounds and kilograms anyway. I don't know who measures their 40 or 50 pound piece of luggage in ounces, but all right, <laughs> you know, I guess we'll go for it. Uh, now that we have this all turned on and set, we will go and find a safe way to attach it here. It's got this metal clip. Now, as you noticed before, uh, the other one we just used from Weston, the green one, uh, it actually wrapped around the string. This wraps around this way, and then it just kind of clips up top here. Uh, a little bit, a little bit sketchy, in my opinion. And uh, now, now I'm going to proceed to pull this back. And as you see there, I had to hold it for a period of time. Uh, which, again, if I move, it cuts into its accuracy, but I have to hold it like that so it actually locks in uh, the, the, the weight I've drawn. It actually has a hold on it. But the hold to, In order to set the hold, you actually have to hold it in place for a couple seconds. If you just draw back, click your clicker and set down, the number will not stay and you will have to do it again. So uh, it's kind of a pain and it already disappeared. So <laughs> let's go and do this again now because the number actually already went away. And back and hold. All right, it beeped and it's saying we're at 45.8 pounds. And in a couple seconds, uh, that will probably uh, disappear on us. So uh, very interesting there, that was uh, well, this is the luggage scale. Now let's move on to an actual professional product designed for uh, pulling back your bow. That is digital, and that is the Last Chance HS2 uh, bow scale here. Uh, we just click the power button on. It's already toggled into pounds. It does peak pull and your hold. Uh, it's got a nice little clip. Clips nice and securely on there. Fits your hand pretty well, and that. And right away, I didn't have to hold it. Once it clicked, I could set the bow down, and it is reading 45.3 pounds. 
So again, all our numbers varied a little bit. Uh, for me, I would definitely trust this and the non-digital scale. So I would say I'm probably around 45.3 to maybe 45 and a half. Uh, of course, this Weston scale was saying I was at 46, but it's also not digital. You know, being analog, it's still pretty accurate and would still give you a really good idea on the weight that you're pulling back on your bow for your given draw length. So now I'm going to go through each bow scale. We're going to start back with our Weston gear here. Uh, this scale cost me around $20, and that was about eight years ago, maybe maybe more. It might even be closer to, to 10 uh, of course, it is analog, it's spring-loaded, so there's no digital readout or anything fancy like that. Um, Ergonomics-wise, uh, you, you gotta hold it with two fingers. I guess you could do three, but it, it feels most comfortable this way. Uh, it does lock on nicely into the string, like you really won't slide, like you gotta definitely try to slide this off. Of course, the distance from where your hand is to where the string is, it's a bit far, so when you're trying to draw your full draw length, you have to draw a little bit extra, which could be awkward. And of course, if you're trying to draw back, uh, your friend's bow, say they're, they have a 32-inch draw and you're a 28, uh, that's going to feel like forever, especially since you have so much distance between where your fingers are and where it attaches to the string. But overall, I think it's a pretty good value for being you know, not digital and just spring loaded. It even has a good accuracy to it. Now, moving on to uh, the luggage uh, weight checker here. Uh, <laughs> value wise, unbelievable value. Uh, I believe this was actually sub $10, which is kind of crazy. Uh, again, it's digital, which is pretty sweet, and you get. Uh, Three weights, if, if that suits your fancy. Pounds, kilograms, ounces, and grams. So those are the four it offers. Again, you gotta toggle four pounds, or you could toggle to kilograms if that's your thing too. Um, the way it hooks on to the string, well one, there's a ton of space. This is a lot of space. It makes the, the Weston one look like a, like a dream come true. Even when it extends, it's still, uh, you know, way shorter, the Weston. So, one, this is adding to your draw length considerably, especially if you're drawing long arrows. Uh, two, when you actually get it back to, you know, full draw and your clicker clicks, you have to hold it there for a, well, it's probably only about a second, but it feels like forever and you're trying to maintain a particular position because you want the numbers consistent. So that's going to, to that's going to affect the accuracy of your readings, especially if you're pulling to a draw length that's longer than your norm. You know, me pulling my usual arrows doesn't feel that bad, and if I were to draw somebody's arrows that were shorter than mine, it would be a piece of cake because I can overpower that without a problem. But if I were to draw my brother's who's 6'4 and, you know, has like a 30 something inch draw, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be suffering, and it's not really that smart of an idea. Uh, the only other thing that comes to mind, uh, well, which is probably a big glaring thing, is I'm always into safety. Archery is a very safe sport, and I like to keep it that way. This is not not that it it's kind of safe, but it really it kind of isn't safe. You know, especially with drawing an arrow back, and you want to protect your equipment. Odds are, it's it's not gonna. You know, once it's under tension, it's not gonna come off. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's not quite the same as you know a, a professional piece of equipment. Uh, may that be your your analog, your spring-loaded one like the Weston, or your digital one like the Last Chance Archery HS2. But if you're in a pinch for some reason and you're willing to take the risk on your own dime, then you know for sub ten dollars and trying to get a bow reading, then you know, I guess you could swing it. Other than that, ergonomics-wise, besides it being so long to pull back, it does fit in your hand quite nicely, which uh, is is pretty cool. All right, so now let's get into the creme de la creme of <laughs> bow scales, and that is the HS2. Uh, Easy power on button. I like the peak and holding weights. I really like how you can just pull it back and then down. 
and it's got it. You know, that little pull was 38 pounds. That's amazing. Excuse me, I don't have to hold it there. I don't have to play games with it. Um, also, uh, how close your hand sits to uh, the string. So if you're pulling, again, your friend's super long uh, arrows, it's not as painful. <laughs> They'll be, you know, just under their actual length. You won't be extremely overextending where you feel like you're going to go and rip your shoulders out of their sockets. Um, and that's, that's really nice. Uh, I, can, I think the one big drawback for this is the price it comes in. Uh, this floats somewhere around $50 US. Of course, it may vary in your, uh, in your country. And who knows, maybe the price will go down in the future as this product goes, gets older, or maybe I got on a sale. Anyway, um, it is definitely more expensive than both of the other two. And, you know, you could buy almost, you could buy five luggage ones for the price of one of these. But this is designed for archery. It functions really well. The hook is nice and deep. It, it feels safe and secure. Uh, this uh, puller also fits in your hand really well again. Uh, it's definitely more comfortable than the Weston one that I've used for years now. So for me, uh, I think this is definitely the best option. So to answer my question from the beginning, can you use a luggage scale to check you know, the weight of a bow? Yes, you can. Is it safe? Uh, that, that's, that's debatable, maybe, but probably not. Um, is it the most intelligent thing for long-term use if you want accuracy in your archery equipment and just the measuring of your archery equipment? Uh, no, you definitely want to go for a scale that's actually designed for archery. Uh, may that be something simple that's just spring-loaded or something that's fancier but digital, which is very nice, uh, such as the HS2. So I'll have links to, I'll definitely have links to this because this is an, an available product now. I'm not sure if Weston still makes their arrow scale, but if, if it exists or if there's one very close to it, then I'll have a link to that as well. Uh, luggage checkers, you can pick them up anywhere. I think that one I showed you now was from Walmart. Hopefully you learned something about uh, bow scales and what is probably the best one to go with. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video, give it a like if you enjoyed, and as always, happy shooting.